Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so this message is for my twin flames. I'm going to just pull a little energy to see what's up with y'all tonight, okay? So don't forget, you guys, every twin is on a different stage of their journey. You're going to take what you need. You're going to leave what you don't need and use the spirit of discernment, okay? This um, whole purpose of the readings that I do for twin flames is to help you to evolve, right? Because again, this is about your soul's evolution. It's about you aligning with your life purpose so that you can begin to help the next person, okay? So we're very gifted and we're called to do such wonderful things within within the world and with our divine masculines, all right? So um, usually the journey is very triggering because they're mirroring back to you your wounds. All right. So learn what you need to learn, release what you need to release and move forward. That's what you're being encouraged to do on this journey. So I kind of want you to kind of like de detach a little bit. Okay. Um, from the idea. All right. Cause a lot of twins or divine feminines are attached to an idea of how this should look. And that's not what it's about. Uh, spirit wants us to be self-sufficient. Okay. So we should not have any type of unhealthy attachment. So release. Okay. Um, this journey is about you becoming one with yourself. So it's about your own internal balance and your own harmony um, within. And if you're out of alignment, of course, it makes you out of alignment with your divine counterpart. Okay. In order for you two to be able to work together, there has to be an energetic balance. All right. So keep that in mind. Um, if you are trying to work with your twin flame but otherwise again um if you're watching this video when you ain't trying to work with your twin flame shame on you okay because we don't want to hear i don't even want them da -da -da -da. Uh -uh. the whole purpose of the journey in the twin in your twin being in your life is to trigger your ascension okay so that's what they are being used for all right so if they trigger the hell out of you Figure out why so that you can ascend and get to the next level, okay? All right, so stop being stuck on the negative emotions. Okay, enough with my rant. All right, y'all, so let's see what this energy is like. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guys, for showing up and helping me to read from my twin flames. Protect us. Help my message to reach the right people at the right times in the right places. What's the energy that's happening around my twin flames? Thank you that my true guides are here with me. A lot of the masculines have awakened, okay? They're in alignment with their, um, uh, how can I put it? Of what they want to do when it comes to that journey with, with, with whatever is happening in their material world, okay? Now, the angel of love came out in the reverse position. Hostility came out in the reverse position. So this could be past energy. This could be now energy. Again, like I said, I don't know what timeline you're on. Future energy. Or this, this could be all happening all at once. <laughs> okay. But this connection, right? This could be you or this could be within their karmic connection so let me pull tarot first before i start talking about it okay so let me see something tell me about this angel of love in the reverse the uh knight of cups all right so it could be some disharmony between you two and mind you right your angelic guides are always working behind the scenes to forge this connection together in an energetic realm right because y'all got work to do all right it's not about y'all being in a relationship it ain't about you trying to control how they what they do and how fast they do it okay it's about you guys being able to work together all right so that y'all can manifest in your gifts um, your desires and you can help people within human um within the world okay but otherwise how i'm seeing it is like the divine masculine is um they're following their heart right now or they're getting ready to shift okay so somebody's masculine is coming in and i'm hearing for either to apologize or make some type of amends with you okay Tell me what I need to see here about this angel of love verse. So, and what I just heard is like you. Okay, so whatever was happening, spirit was trying to get you to direct the love to yourself first. 
So that means, again, you getting in alignment with self first in order for you to attract this love from your divine masculine. All right, because remember, that's what brings them in. When you're balanced, when you release, when you stop the patterns and the cycles in your life, guess what? It reflects back to them, okay? Um, and here with the tower card coming in a reverse position, um, I feel like for real, both of y'all could be trying to, you know, could have been delaying the inevitable or resisting some type of change. Yeah, six of swords, reverse. Just basically stuck in the past, okay? Not releasing um, what no longer serves you, maybe running away from problems, you know, on whoever in, right? But again, the whole purpose of the journey is about moving forward with ease and grace, okay? So when you're fighting against the flow, guess what? Yeah, it brings this harmony between the two. So it's, it's really it's, um, how I'm seeing it. It's like you're being called to let... Stop being in this hostile energy, right? Very defensive. You can let your guards down. I'm hearing you can trust this person. But it's a lot of anxiety around this because of, again, your past or whatever this person may have done. And some of you may be like, how can I trust them? They're doing this, this, and that. You can trust yourself, right? Remember, they are you. So if you're doing the right thing, that's being mirrored back to them. Which means they're going to mirror that, that back to you, okay? Which means you get what I'm saying. So if you trust yourself, if you are actually um, balanced, they is faded. Like, it's inevitable. That's what I'm hearing. It's inevitable. Why wouldn't they be balanced? Why wouldn't they be aligned if this is your true twin, okay? If you don't really know for sure, then get a reading and see what comes out. I do offer them. You can go to my website, right, and purchase it. But however, yeah, they should be mirroring whatever energy you're putting out into the atmosphere. But if you're putting out worry and anxiety, 717 on the timer, guess what? Divine timing kicks in, and guess what? This person is running. If your defenses are up and you're always guarded, then guess what? They're going to do the same thing. So how can you release and let go of this anxiety. So that's what you want to think about. Okay. Because um, remember the journey is about you trusting and surrendering to the divine. To your higher self. Not your counterpart. But when whatever you do for you in turn is being reflected back to them. Okay. So again this is your journey divine feminine. Okay. So. Show me what I need to see. It's almost like they just kind of get a free ride. It's like, I'm joking. They still got to go through the process themselves. They still have to heal. They still have to learn from their mistakes. You understand? They still got to close out karmic cycles just as much, right? Um, but how you go about it, um, it helps encourages the divine masculine to do these things because, again, the energy, the energy between the two, okay? Um, mistakes comes out again. So... Don't play the victim role, but I feel like, again, um, they're misunderstood in some kind of way or they feel misunderstood. Somebody does. I want to pull on that real quick, but let me see if I can get another card to come out. Bitterness. Yeah. Somebody is very bitter and resentful. When you're bitter, resentful and angry, that's a negative emotion. You got to release that. Why do you feel that way? Go deep within. Tell me about the mistakes. I'm talking about go deep. This is like childhood deep. Four of wands, nine of wands in the reverse. Don't give up. You got to fight for what you believe in. Stand up for what you believe in. If you believe in harmony, stability, security, then that's what you need to stand up for. Okay? Even if in the past you did not receive that. But that's what you're asking for. That's what you have set intentions for. That's what you want to stand on. Okay, so you got to be prepared to face whatever the challenges are that come your way and overcome them. Remember, you have angelic assistance that is helping you to overcome um, whatever the adversity may be. So call out to your angelic guides. Okay, don't don't play the victim role, basically. Okay, balance your energies, your emotions and things like that and get still for a moment and release the anxiety here, y'all, so y'all can work in alignment. 